Today we are going to ask the question, should you upgrade your paddleboard paddle? We're going to be doing this by comparing a standard cheap paddle that you're likely going to get as part of your paddleboard bundle against an expensive premium paddle made out of carbon fibre. I know, exciting stuff. Before I start, if you want to see more paddleboard reviews and tips, drop a follow and why not subscribe? The expensive paddle we are looking at today is Fanatic's Carbon 80 Adjustable. This beast of a paddle will set you back around 310 pounds or 360 euros slash dollars. This paddle is made out of 80% carbon with ABS blade and shaft protector plus additional Kevlar webbing. Well, what does that actually mean? Well, carbon is very strong but also a light material. So this should, in theory, equal a quicker, stronger paddle stroke in theory. I'm going to give my thoughts on this later in the video after I've used the paddle. You can also go for a 100% carbon paddle from Fnatic, but these are about £100 more expensive. The paddle that I am using in this video is actually my dad, so I would love to own one of these in the future. The paddle also comprises a union joint system, which means as the connection is further up the shaft of the paddle, a constant flex curve is achieved, as seen in the image on screen. Compared to a classic connection where flexion is experienced at one point at the end of the shaft next to the blade, Fanatics say the union connection gives an unmatched spring and response in every stroke. The whole paddle weighs around 650 to 670 grams and comes in 6.75 and 7.25 inch blades. You can also purchase three piece and fixed paddle models. For the standard cheaper paddle, I'm using a Red Paddle Co paddle in this video. I don't think this model is available anymore, but I can tell you it'll be extremely similar to any paddle you'd get these days in a paddleboard bundle. For example, my own Fnatic paddle that I got in my board bundle acts pretty much the same way as the older Red Paddle I'm using here. Standard board bundle paddles are most likely made out of cheaper materials such as fiberglass, plastic and nylon. These materials are not as strong as carbon fiber, but I've rarely ever seen one break. They are heavier and flex to a greater extent, which in turn will decrease the power output. They normally come as three-piece paddles, which are good for transportation but performance is likely compromised. The weight of cheaper paddles are usually around 850 to 980 grams, which is quite a bit heavier than carbon paddles. I can go on about the materials, flex profiles and specs, however that really doesn't mean a lot to most people. What you really want to know is, does it actually work? Do all the fancy materials really make that much of a difference to the point where you should consider upgrading your paddle? Well, I have tested both and I've come up with the following advantages and disadvantages for both paddles. The advantages. After experiencing a premium paddle, I believe there are two main benefits over cheaper paddles. Power and efficiency. Power, a lot more power. With each paddle stroke, you can put a lot more force into a paddle as carbon is a lot stiffer than fiberglass and it responds extremely well to the extra force. With cheaper paddles, I feel like when I put a lot more force into each stroke, the paddle doesn't respond well and will flex a lot with no benefit from that flexion and almost feels like it will snap. Take a look at these two clips. We'll see the cheaper paddle flexes a lot more at the bottom of the shaft near the blade. Now, with the carbon paddle, I can put a lot more power into the strokes and it will use this flexion effectively. The flex is even throughout the paddle with the blade responding well and catching a lot more water. Even though there is flexion, the paddle feels a lot more stiff, resulting in some excellent power transfer. For short bursts of speeds and tight turns and maneuvers, you will get a lot more forward thrust and momentum from each paddle stroke because it actually uses the energy you're putting into the stroke. If you aren't really bothered about making the tightest, quickest turns, or having quick acceleration and top speed, a cheaper paddle will absolutely be fine. The next major benefit of premium carbon paddles is the efficiency. When paddling over longer distances, you are able to make the most out of every stroke and go the same speed but using less energy than if you were using a cheaper paddle. This is also helped from the fact that the paddle is a lot lighter than standard paddles, which again means less energy to move, resulting in less fatigue. Again, if you aren't bothered about going faster or quickly over longer distances, you probably won't need an expensive paddle. However, if you're going on group rides and if you're struggling to match the pace of others, then maybe a carbon paddle wouldn't be such a bad shout. Depending on your situation, there are some disadvantages to premium paddles. Firstly, of course, they're expensive. If they break, they're going to be a lot more expensive to replace. For just over 300 to 400 pounds, you can get a very decent paddleboard bundle for the same price as a carbon paddle. So you've got to think about your situation. Also, to get the most out of premium paddles, you've got to have good technique. So I'd recommend if you are wanting to upgrade, make sure to go out and practice your stroke. Improve your technique to ensure you're making the most out of the paddle. I would always recommend getting a one-piece adjustable or a fixed carbon paddle and not the three-piece configuration. Because of the extra sections with the three-piece paddle configuration, the flex profile will be slightly compromised 
and it won't technically be as stiff as a one piece. This does mean however the one piece carbon panels are going to be more difficult to transport. So should you buy an expensive premium carbon fiber paddle? In my opinion someone that takes their SUPing seriously, goes on long distance paddles, likes to go fast and performs advanced maneuvers and tricks should definitely consider owning a carbon paddle. From my experience carbon paddles do actually do what they claim to do and you will definitely feel a difference if you upgrade. Additionally, for someone considering upgrading their board, I seriously would recommend firstly investigating in a better paddle. I think the benefits from going from a cheap to a carbon paddle are far greater than upgrading boards, especially relative to the price you are likely going to be paying for a premium board upgrade. However, if you have a nice expensive premium board, using a good quality carbon paddle will allow you to extract the maximum performance out of that board. If you're using a cheaper paddle with a premium board, you probably won't be going as quick as you could be going with a premium paddle in combination with your board. The paddles that I have mentioned will be in the description. Thanks for watching and keep paddling.